Hey, it's Wes. Today I want to talk to you about multiple offers. What do you want to do as a buyer to make sure your offer is the strongest so you can win in a multiple offer situation? First of all, find out, look at the big components in the house. When was the roof, the hot water heater, the HVAC replaced? Because if those big ticket items have been taken care of, you may want to consider doing uh, foregoing the home inspection. That sounds scary, but a lot of people are doing it. Or find out when they're going to present the offers and maybe get a home inspector with permission into the house before they look at the offers. The risk there is you're going to spend five or six hundred dollars on a home inspection, but that way you have peace of mind for going the home inspection. And the seller will certainly look at your offer if they don't have to worry about inspection items, uh, the cost, and potentially losing you during that home inspection negotiation. Secondly, is price. What do you want to offer? Most likely, if you have multiple offers, they're going at least at full price or over asking price. Have your realtor do a valuation. Know that the market should be going up. So if you've got to go five or 10,000, one or 2% over asking, uh, sometimes even higher, be assured that the house prices will get up there. But be prepared also to have the cash to make up the difference between the sales price and the appraisal value because the seller seller's not going to uh, make up the difference. You need to be prepared if you're going to waive the appraisal. Other items, a lot of buyers will personalize letter. Sometimes that works uh, to show, you know, talk about how that, that house is going to fit your family uh, and, and how excited you are to move in there. Typically, though, the money, the top dollar wins the uh, bidding war. Deadlines. If the listing agent has presented that they're not going to look at all offers till next Wednesday, don't wait. I found in, in several cases that by the weekend, the seller is tired of running in and out of the house. You, I call the agent, find out what the buyer, uh, sorry, what the sellers want, and they um, will wait. They, they'll they'll take the offer beforehand um, and not wait till the deadline. So that's a trick that's worked a few times for me. Uh, escalation clauses. What is an escalation? You can actually make your offer and offer to beat any offer by a thousand dollars up to a max sales price. And what is that max sales price? That is the price I tell my buyers that they would be upset. To lose the house for so if the house is 400 and they're willing to go to 410 only to find out that someone got the house for 415,000 go to 415,000 you know do an escalation saying we'll give you 410 we'll be in the offer by a thousand dollars up to 415 now the other agent and seller just can't give you an erroneous name they have to provide proof that your escalation clause kicked in because they had an offer uh, that went that high they have to provide proof of that um, Lastly, find out what the seller's looking for. Does the seller want to settle this month or next month? Do they want to stay in the house? Maybe offer a free rent back, close at the end of July, and let them stay in the house for free through August. That can also be an appeasing thing. And of course, any home inspections, the buyer home inspections, water tests, well and septic inspections, and termite inspections. Be prepared as the buyer uh, to pay for those inspections as well. Uh, I appreciate your comments. Please send me questions and subscribe. I'll help you win your house uh, offer.